Hi, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's a new week. How are you? How's your week going? Good morning. Hello. How was your weekend? Was it so great? Oh, yay. Hearts. Hearts on a Monday. You know it's going to be a good day. Hi. Hi, Stephanie. Did you have a good weekend? It was good. We're going to be talking about how to pick the best protein for your body to meet your goals. I had a pretty good weekend. Nice and lazy. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love being lazy. Hi. In case you don't know me, my name is Debbie. You can find me on social media at Fit with Deb. I'm a mom and a former fitness and nutrition hater. <laughs> I was an antagonist. And now, now I'm on board because I got old and my clothes stopped fitting. So I wanted to talk to you about protein powder this morning. Do you use protein powder? That's my first question. Are you a protein powder fan or you think it's for giant bodybuilder guys? or you don't even know what to buy, or maybe you love it and you use it all the time. What are your thoughts? I would love to hear your thoughts about protein powder. No thoughts at all. <laughs> That's great. Is everybody still waking up? It's so early. Yeah, you're starting to get fit again. Good job. Oh, you love me. Thank you. I am very old. Yes. Yes, that's why I have wrinkles. <laughs> so... No way for you. You do use it in smoothies. Good. Good morning. Okay, I gotcha. Just listening. I love it. Ooh, traffic. Plant-based is what I recommend as well, Lindsay. What are my thoughts on casein? Um, okay, supplement. Great. My thoughts on casein is that it can cause inflammation in the body, and inflammation can mean weight loss resistance. Most people I know are interested in the fat loss lifestyle, feeling good, looking good, and casein is not my favorite ingredient in the world. <laughs> I do try to go with a dairy-free lifestyle and try to recommend that to my clients. I do not do Herbalife. I don't know if I know a lot about Herbalife. I want to tell you what to look for when you're shopping around. Oh, Kazakhstan, right on. When you're looking for protein powder, most protein powders are whey. Thank you. But yeah, soy is dangerous. Not a fan of soy either. There is a good way to get soy that is actually beneficial gut buster. Oh yeah, I'm going to help you with gut busting. Hemp milk is a great alternative to cow's milk, absolutely. Most protein powders on the market are whey. Let's not do that. I know that it absorbs easily into the body, especially after a workout, but that is just because it absorbs quickly doesn't mean that having a glass of milk, which is basically what whey protein shakes are, does not mean that's a good decision. I know milk has protein in it and that's a good idea but let's not let's not do whey because a lot of bodybuilders actually will notice that they get belly bloat as they're getting ready for competitions and it's likely because of the ingredients a lot of shakes out there on the market have so many ingredients it's like this long the label is this long of things that nobody can pronounce and it's just not necessary and it's pretty unfortunate that protein powders are sold in these health stores and they're not actually that healthy. So we're going to talk about what you should look at when you're at a store or shopping online. I love shopping online. So I get my protein powder online because I don't want to go to the store. I would go with a plant-based protein powder instead of whey Let's go with plant-based. So that could be um, pea or rice. I'm so glad that you need this. That's wonderful to hear. I'm here to help because I used to take whey protein from Walmart and Target. 
<laughs> because it was cheap. And then I learned that I was not helping my body. I thought I was being healthy, but I really wasn't. So you want to get, I am in the car. Oh yeah, I'm not driving though. See, the scenery behind me is not moving. I'm getting ready for my group workout. So I'm at a park. This is where I walk a lot, but I've done some walking periscopes too. <laughs> um, so we're going to go with plant-based protein. When you're looking at the sweeteners, you want to make sure that they're using natural sweeteners like stevia, even actual sugar. I'm not a huge fan of natural sugar, but it's better than some other options out there. So what I want you to do is avoid, stevia is good if stevia is 100% pure and organic, and that's really hard to find. So the Truvia is not exactly my favorite choice. Yes, aspartame, please don't do any, I don't even know how aspartame is still on the market. Oh, thank you. And don't, don't do sucralose. You're going to look for words like maltodextrin or dextrose. Those are not good sweeteners. So stevia is usually a safe bet as long as it's done in a pure and organic fashion. Splenda is a no. Splenda is sucralose. Yeah, it does need to be outlawed. It is frightening. So this is very important. This will make or break what protein powder I would pick. If it has an artificial sweetener, I'm putting it back on the shelf. You also need to research to know if there's any GMOs inside of this protein powder you're considering. So those are genetically modified. Anything that is genetically modified, just the thought of that, knowing that food can be engineered, is terrible. Thank you for the hearts. MSG is terrible. Yes, thank you. So we're going to go with the plant-based protein powder with no artificial sweeteners. None of that sweet and low, equal, Splenda. We'd want to stay away from anything that comes in a yellow, blue, or pink packet. Okay, that may help you. <laughs> you like Isopure? I would look into the all the ingredients because we want that whey free. No whey and no soy. As someone mentioned before, no soy. And protein bars, it goes the same. All of this is the same, whether it's a protein powder or a protein bar. That's a good question. Oh, have a good day in Greensboro, just down the street from you. Okay, what else should you look for? Yeah, we don't want any whey protein. We're just going to avoid whey, which is, that's going to narrow down your choices a lot. And yeah, it does cause that GI upset. When you have the artificial ingredients, it makes your stomach feel terrible. Rice protein is absolutely an option. You're going for dairy-free, lactose-free, milk-free, and... Sugar alcohols can be a little bit tricky. Those do still, those do still count. You do want to be aware of the, the label, how much sugar alcohols, because that can also make you feel kind of gross. You want a protein powder that's high in fiber and high in protein. So whey protein is, means that there's dairy in it and dairy will cause inflammation, which leads to weight loss resist resistance. You can try goat's milk. Uh, that's probably a potential one. It may still have some of the not so great ingredients, the way that milk is processed. You do want to go with a gluten-free protein powder because gluten, again, causes that belly bloat. It also leads to brain fog. Yeah, bubble gut. I love that. <laughs> That's so funny. That makes my stomach hurt to think about. And, okay, so you want high fiber, high protein. The kind that I use is only sold online, and it's actually made local to where I am. I'm in North Carolina. I don't. I know a lot of you are all over the place. They don't treat goats the same as they do cows, which does make goat's milk a little bit different. Um, you can go to my website at fitwithdeb.com. Dot com fit with Deb. My name is Debbie, and I would love to connect with you on Facebook. So here's the deal. I want to share my favorite protein powder. I only have a couple minutes because my group workouts are getting ready to start. Thank you for the hearts if I haven't thanked you. So this is my favorite. And I, yeah, absolutely add powdered peanut butter. If it doesn't have peanut butter, I'm not drinking it. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to be real still. So it's called NP Pro, and it's made by a company called Nature's Pearl. This stuff is like crack. It's like healthy crack. <laughs> and it's safe for kids. Crack for kids, crack for grown-ups. It is so tasty. 
California. I'm not in California, but I wish I was. Are you in California? Dirty shocker. <laughs> so I use uh, NP Pro. This is vanilla. That's my favorite. Can you see that? Creamy vanilla. This stuff is so good. My oldest son, when the powder spills out, he licks it off the counter. Yes, I realize that's disgusting and I am a terrible unfit mother, <laughs> but that's how good this stuff is. And the label tells you it has all the good stuff. Um, Advocare, I'm not a huge fan of because of the artificial sweeteners. And, um, and I think it's, it gives you kind of this adrenaline boost that maybe isn't necessary. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Like someone mentioned before, these shakes that I do, um, they can be snakes, uh, snakes. They can be snacks or meal repri replacements because they're clean enough. Um, sugar, alcohol, I really personally try to avoid it. If it's a small amount, it might be okay, but you need to see if your body sees it as a great instigator of GI upset. Isogenics, um, some of the isogenics, unfortunately, is a really expensive milk drink. I'm sorry, it has dairy in it. And yes, this works for building muscle. That's one of my biggest goals is building muscle and burning fat. This is sold at, the website is naturespearlproducts.com. I do mix it with almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk. Any non-dairy milk is good. Hemp milk. Um, so Nature's Pearl, naturespearlproducts.com is where I get this NP Pro that's fabulous. Yeah, sugar, alcohol. I used to do it in one of my protein bars. It came with it. And I thought, oh, it's not a big deal. It was a huge deal. It made me very nauseated all the time. I do eat eggs sometimes. I try to limit because they do give me headaches. Unfortunately, I have a food sensitivity then. You do want to watch out for that cancerous ingredient in some of the non-dairy milks. You do need to research that, which is a whole nother periscope. So this protein powder has everything. It's the cleanest protein powder I have found. I used to do, um, what was that other one I used to do? Plant Fusion. It tasted so gross and gritty um, that I I had to just stop doing that. And this actually comes in chocolate as well. So vanilla and chocolate, how delicious. Now here's the deal. It has high protein, high fiber, no GMOs, no artificial sweeteners, no whey, and it's fabulous. Like I'm trying to count on the ingredients. I think there's about 10 ingredients. I can pronounce them all. <laughs> You use Plant Fusion. That's not a bad idea. The difference between this NP Pro and your Plant Fusion is this contains muscadine grape seed extract. And muscadine grape seed extract decreases inflammation. So the protein here, let me look. Great question. 16 grams. You don't want to have too much protein. Sometimes I've seen protein powders with really high protein. You can actually get too much at once. So this is a nice balance with the carb factor. This muscadine grapeseed extract is actually being researched at Wake Forest University. They were just given a $20 million grant, which is being used to study the effects of mus muscadine grapeseed extract on cancer. Plant Fusion cannot say that. Okay, so this is going to help with antioxidants and reducing inflammation. Can you eat too many egg whites? Sure, you'd probably throw up if you had too many. I would suggest balancing it out. You're going to have to gauge that on your hunger, energy, and cravings. So this, it's like a superfood. And again, I'm a busy mom, so if I can have two of these a day, that's awesome. If you're drinking whey protein shakes, you are not allowed to have two a day. I really don't even have, want you to have like one a week. Um, I only have one more minute, but here's the important part. I want you to write this down and replay this and remember this because here's the good stuff. Yes, it is a meal replacement. It's also great as a snack. Um, it is safe. They have eliminated all major food sensitivities. So there's no nuts. There's no eggs. Um, one canister is $35 for 15 servings. So you end up paying about $2 a shake, which is a lot cheaper than Doritos and a Dr. Pepper, which is what I'll be having in heaven. <laughs> um, but here's the deal. I have something to offer you for free. Are you so excited? Okay, so I've got a free offer for you. I want to share this protein powder with you. I want you to try it and fall in love with it like I have and every client I have 
loves this. I want to offer this for free. I'm going to mail you free samples. I'm going to send you two samples so you can make two different shakes because everybody has a different combination of how they like to make their shakes. If you're looking for recipes, this protein powder has a free app. So you can go ahead and download the free app. It's the NP Pro app and it's free. We've got seven recipes already ready. So if you've never made a protein shake, no problem. It's going to tell you how to make it. If you go to my Fit With Deb Facebook or Instagram page, you're going to get recipes there. So back to the free. The first three people, okay, so get ready because after I jump off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if you do this. The first three people who message me on Facebook at Fit With Deb I need your address, your mailing address. I'm not going to stalk you. I'm not going to show up at your door. I'm going to mail you free NP Pro samples. No strings attached. I'm not going to get your credit card number. I just want to share this with you because it is so good. I want to get the word out that there are clean protein powders that are not sold in health stores. It's so new. It's so revolutionary. And it's being studied at Wake Forest University. That's a big deal. The biggest grant that university has ever had. I will stalk you. Just kidding. I really won't stalk you. I have to go, but this is my call to action. The first three messages I get, and of course you're going to like my Fit With Deb page, right? You're going to go over there and like it because I post all this goodness. The first three people to message Fit With Deb on Facebook, I am going to mail you a free sample of NP Pro. Two, really two. And I'm going to send you vanilla because it's my favorite and you can add cocoa powder to make it chocolate. Okay. I've got some clients pulling in. Do you have any questions real quick before I jump off of our fun Monday morning Periscope together? Thank you. I hope you have a good day too. Any questions that you have about this fabulous protein powder that meets all my requirements because I've found no other protein powder and I've tried several and I have failed and this is the one that can help you look and feel your best. More energy, less sluggishness, and less weight gain. You can start buying belts again for crying out loud. Okay, so one more time. I've really got to go because i got to change my shoes. The first three people who message me at Fit With Deb, you get free NP Pro samples. Okay, but I have got to go. I'm so sorry. Have a great day.